pretty quiet, huh? Okay, guys, Nettie's in this cave. I know because my bod rod here is calibrated to our sister brother Bond. Now, people frighten him, so I'm going in alone. If he tries to run, stop him. I don't think we can. He's a giant. Yup. Thanks, guys. Uh, this armor is driving me nuts. No way. I changed my mind. I feel like a fancy shield, or if I was like a dangerous candlestick. Like a knight's candlestick. You don't stretch, man. This thing's cramping my cramps. <laughs> Dude, I don't like that. <laughs> Nettie, you sweet weirdo. If the King of Wu tries to come here again, you have my secret permission to stop him. No holds barred, Moosewood Stadium freestyle. So what are you two up to now? Eh, garden stuff, I guess. Um, hey Bonnie, you always act like a, a loner, right? But next to your brother, you're the light of the party. Sorry, the light of the party. I mean, yeah. One of the first things I did after making sure Nettie was safe was to start making the candy people. I was formed in the mother gum. My mind and my gum were in touch with dozens of others, like a crowded womb. I guess I missed that. But Nettie's from the same place you're from, and he's a wet hot dog around everyone. People get built different. We don't need to figure it out, we just need to respect it. Maybe he likes his own company better than I like mine. Well, do you miss the candy people? Hey, Bobaloos, good thing that juice is back on. I was making a mint, but whoo, doggy, my candles were starting to turn. <laughs> Thanks, Jake. Ah, that's the stuff. Hey, do you know if I can drink this? Like, is it like well water? Good for bathing, but not so good for drinking? You know what? I'm going for it. <laughs> yep, it tastes just like you'd think.